All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new headphone review. Um, this headset I wanted to do a review on because I honestly think it's a great value for the money, especially if you do a little research and you can find these at a really good deal. Um, they're the Monster Impulse. They're made by Monster. Uh, they're around the ear. They're also passive noise cancellation. Um, they fit a lot like the Beats Pros, um, but at a lot less. And honestly, I'll get into if I think it's worth it. Think um, the build quality is good, everything. Um, I'll kind of hit a few points. Um, but this is a set I really wanted to share with you guys. Oh, and they do come available in the black and white. Um, they also made um, a limited edition ones that are available in purple. And now, if you've seen them, which I think they're kind of ridiculous, they have a 24 karat gold version. Um, but that's a little too much for me. I don't think I could rock 24 karat gold. All right, just like always, we're gonna start with the accessories and the accessories in this headphone are pretty minimal. Um, you've got just a plain um, auxiliary cable. It does have the clicker to switch or to pause and take calls. Um, it's a pretty good cable. Although you see here, it's, it's pretty bad about getting tangled, which is another reason like I'm a huge Bluetooth uh, headphone person, but there are cases where having wired headphones are great. Um, but overall, it's a pretty lengthy cable. It serves its purpose. Then you have the pouch, which is this gray pouch, and I'm not sure what you can see, but there's the, the logos all over it. Um, it's a drawstring pouch, so when the headphones are in, you're able to pull it tight and keep them sealed in. Okay, now on to the headphones themselves. As you can see, they are rather large. Um, Monster, again, likes to make things that stand out, but I think they're pretty clean, although it's a solid black. Um, it's plastic all the way around. It's very fingerprint prone. Um, you see the Monster logo here. Uh, you see the Monster logo here. And then there's the Incredible logo here. Um, so as far as design, I think these are pretty minimal for Monster. The padding that's on the top is like the rubbery feel that's on the um, some of the Beats, the earlier Beats headphones, but the ear cushions on these are almost exactly like the Beat Pros, which is like the $400, $300-$400 edition of Beats. And honestly, the build quality of these are great. It's a single side. On the left side, you have the part to plug in your auxiliary cable. Um, again, to look at them real close, this is... This is what you get. And right here is kind of like a brushed metal look. Uh, the rest of it's plastic and they swivel in. So if you have them on and you, you want to listen to somebody or be able to hear them, you just turn these in. Um, as far as the build quality of them, I don't know that I would twist them and bend them. I think they could break easily. Um, they definitely have some weight to them. They're very heavy. Um, they extend out here. This part here, same thing kind of with the beats, is I would worry about this snapping. Um, they do feel a lot sturdier than Beats headphones. Um, and as far as when they're on, they do stick out a good bit because of the way they're made. But as far as look-wise, I think they're really... I, I like the look of them. Now on to the sound quality, which with any headphone again is like the most important part. Um, the sound on these are actually freaking incredible. I know like with Monster, some people are going to say, oh, well, you know, they sound real bassy. They're this or that without even trying them. The sound on these are pretty true uh, to the source. Um, yes, the bass is elevated, but it's so loud, so clear, and you feel everything. The noise separation, uh, the sound separation is really good, so you can pick apart instruments. Um, the comfort level of these, although I said they're heavy, are incredible. You, you can really wear them for a long time. Sound-wise, they're on par with the Beats Pros, which are, I mean, these retail for $199. If you do some research and, and look around, you can find them for 100 bucks. And the Beats Pros, you know, two to three times as much don't nearly sound, you know, to me as good as these do. So I honestly think this is a great value. Um, Sound-wise, you will not. There's no way you'll be disappointed. And it doesn't matter what genre of music you listen to. It really is great with everything. Um, I, I have to put my approval on these. And um, definitely go pick them up. And let me know what you think. If you have any questions, 
let me know below. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.